Kittle has just released their new image generation model. Now, I received this email a couple of days back, and let's have a quick little read of what it says. So it says, hey, stacking profit. The Kittle elves have been working hard on Kittle AI X1 over the holidays. We know you've been patiently waiting, so as a token of appreciation, we've given you early access to our new image generation model, which is V2, now integrated with OpenAI's DALI 3 model. And if we take a look just here, they're still giving away unlimited Kittle AI tokens until January the 31st. So what we're going to go ahead and do is go over to Kittle and take a little look. So here we are in Kittle. Now, if you want to try out Kittle at all, then there will be a link down in the description below. Disclaimer, it is an affiliate link. So if you do decide to purchase, I will make a small commission. Now, if we take a look down here, we can see new Kittle AI Image Gen 2.0. Let's go ahead and give it a go. So we're going to click on try now and it pulls it up like this. Now, another way to get here, let's just close this for a second, like so. It's just come down to here where this little star is. It says Kittle AI. If we click on there, this is where the image generation is. Now we can also switch between the newer version and the older version just here as well. Right here is where we describe our image. We can also use, if we click just here, some random prompts, which Kittle would generate for us. We also have a few different aspect ratios. Now, if we go back over to here for a second, it says just here that landscape and portrait are available for pro. So if we come back over to here, just keep that in mind as well. Then we have all of these different styles. So if we click on show all, we can choose between digital art, photography, anime, psychedelic, and synth wave. Now that's image styles. If we take a look just here, we can also use a few different clip art styles, with them being t-shirt graphic, cartoon, mascot, detailed drawing, watercolor, and also kawaii. Now with the vector styles, you get vector art, vintage drawing, cartoon, emblem, line art, anime vector, and also a silhouette. Now, right here, next to styles, we can also check out the AI art feed as well. So if we click on there, we can go through and take a look at what people are actually creating with Kittle's image generation. And as we can see, some of them look pretty good. Now let's come back over to the editor and let's give this a go. Now, one thing to note is if you create coloring pages with AI, then Kittle isn't the one for you. Because they're using DALI 3, you're still just better off going over to ChatGPT if you have it, if you have the paid version, and just using DALI in here to create your coloring pages because you're going to get a lot more wiggle room. So it's going to be a lot easier to create coloring pages here in DALI 3 within ChatGPT and it is with Kittle. Now, if you create anything other than coloring pages, like t-shirt graphics, clip art, and things like that, then Kittle could potentially be your best friend. So let's go ahead and create a coloring page in here so that we can see what it looks like. So let's type in black and white kids coloring page of a cute puppy with big eyes. Now, if we look here, I haven't actually got any of these enabled. So what we're going to do is just do this without choosing a style to see what we get. So we're going to click on generate image. Now, again, if we look just here, unlimited credits until January the 31st. Now, let's just give this a second to do its thing. Now, another reason why I'd prefer to create coloring pages over in ChatGPT or even Midjourney for that matter is because we can't have multiple pages here in Kittle's editor. So if we take a look down here, there's no way to add an extra page and we can only work on one page at a minute. So again, if you're creating coloring pages, then it's going to be extremely hard to actually create your book 
here in Kittel. But nonetheless, some of the images actually look pretty good. Now, this one has been done with no styles. Now, it's also put a couple of pencils here in the picture, which isn't really that great. But if we take this off, let's choose a style. Let's go down here and let's choose this line art. Now, let's just use that same prompt. We're going to do one by one. And let's just click Generate Image and we'll see what it gives us. Now, after we've had a few goes at this, we are going to take a look at some random prompts with a few different styles as well here in Kittle. Now, this is almost there. It's just going to take a few more seconds. And there we go. Now, if we enlarge this, we can also see what this looks like as well. And to be fair, this one actually looks pretty good. But again, if I wanted to create a whole coloring book here in Kittle, then it's going to be really hard because we're going to have to do each image one by one instead of having multiple pages in here, which again is why I recommend just using ChatGPT or Midjourney. But nonetheless, this actually looks pretty good as well. Now, let's go ahead and take a look at some of these styles and let's choose one of these. So let's go with some clip art. Let's go with a t-shirt graphic or let's take a little look. Yeah, in fact, let's go with a t-shirt graphic. Now, let's click this little button here where it says random prompt and let's see what we get. So a jungle filled with, I don't think I could actually say that word, but plants. Probably not going to work well with a t-shirt idea. A moonlit beach with a shipwreck and mermaids. Could work. So let's go ahead and give it a go. So we got the clip art style of a t-shirt graphic with this prompt just here. Let's click generate image. Again, let's just give this a few seconds to do its thing. Let's delete this as well. Now, one of the reasons why I do like Kittle so much is because of their other features. So if you're creating t-shirt graphics, clip art and things like that, we can actually turn that into vectors directly here within the Kittle editor. Now, let's just give this one more second to do its thing. And there we go. Not quite a t-shirt graphic, is it? So let's just take a little look. It would be better if this whole image was actually in the square instead of being cut off like this. But nonetheless, this actually looks pretty good. But let's go with something else instead. Let's go with cartoon. Now, if we come up to here, Let's click prompt a time traveling adventurer in ancient Egypt. Let's click generate image and let's just see what we get. And there we go. Now, if we click on this, let's just enlarge this to take a little look. And to be fair, that is pretty good. Now, again, from here, what we can do is remove background. And we also can click on image vectorizer, choose how many colors and then vectorize this image. Now let's delete this, let's just do one more, let's go to show all, let's do something like digital art. Now let's click random prompt, a floating island with waterfalls and floating rocks. Now let's click generate image, let's give this a second as well. And there we go. This actually kind of looks like something out of a video game. But again, it does look pretty good, but it is going to look good because it is using DALI 3. So I just wanted to share that with you because I thought it was pretty cool that V2 was now here and that they're using DALI 3. And if you do already have a Kittle account, just come through, have a little play with it because again, they are giving away that unlimited credits until January the 31st. Now, if you enjoyed the video, then please consider giving me a like as it does really help out the channel. And if you're not too sure what to watch next, then click right here and watch this playlist.